Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. Um, so on this one, I'm going to be doing something that's a little bit different. Um, this is not a barbecue talk. Uh, this is not a cooking video. This is not a recipe thing. Uh, this is just me going to do um, a vlog. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, the last two weeks or so I was traveling. So I spent about a week or so in uh, Austin and then I spent the last few days in California. Uh, the trip to California was not one that I planned for, but I ended up going and uh, had a good time seeing some friends and some family. I'm back uh, in Chicago and um, I just recently um, celebrated my 29th birthday. Uh, and you know, I think anytime it comes to you know, birthdays and stuff like that. Uh, I don't gen I don't really like celebrating my birthday. It, for me, it's just kind of like that day that I use to kind of, you know, think about different things that, you know, I want to do differently in this upcoming year or just reflect on this past year. And in this past year, I feel like there's a lot to reflect on. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel that way as well after going through, um, you know, uh, the pandemic and quarantine for a while. And maybe some of you guys have started some new things. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'm kind of in the same place where I'm just trying to figure out what things um, I guess are really important to me and what things that I want to move forward with and other things that I want to leave behind. And for those of you guys who don't know, I actually started this YouTube channel not for barbecue. I actually started this YouTube channel um, as a vlog to kind of record and um, share my experiences while I was in Texas. So I've had a couple videos um, up uh, and then it slowly became just like a cooking sort of deal. But uh, I want to bring it back. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering uh, and have asked me in this past year, you know, what am I doing? Um, you know, am I, am I done with barbecue? And what, where have I been? Uh, cause there was a while where, um, the last video that I made that was like a vlog was me just kind of sharing, um, how I was feeling a little overwhelmed with barbecue that I was done with it. And that, um, you know, that I basically just wanted to give up. I think, I wasn't comfortable sharing uh, who I was anymore or sharing my own story because I was very unsure of uh, what I wanted, which is why I kind of stepped away um, from the YouTube videos for a while, which is why I stepped away from doing barbecue for a while because I just needed a break. I think just being in Texas for two years and, um, you know, working basically every day and then there are certain days where I would work double shifts and then some days I would just stick around all day just because I was like I knew in the back of my mind I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna move back home eventually uh and uh I want to make sure I get as much as I possibly can while I'm here and so when I finally did move back home I was trying to start these pop-ups and it was in the middle of a pandemic and I was cooking food that I didn't feel like it was exactly what I wanted to do you know, Central Texas style barbecue, everything just kind of came to a point where I didn't feel like I was doing anything that I wanted to do. I was doing it because I felt like I needed to or other people expected me to. And so you might be asking, how come Central Texas style barbecue isn't what you want to do anymore? Um, and it's not necessarily that I don't want to cook Central Texas style barbecue. I love it. It's what I know best. But I think that I just don't feel like I need to be another person who's doing that. A lot of people know me for my story because it is a little bit different. And people know me as this Korean guy who was a teacher from Chicago who moved to Texas to learn how to cook barbecue. That's my story. And I just moved back home, you know, and I was just cooking the same food that everyone else was. You know, my story really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I'm from Chicago. It doesn't matter that I'm Korean. It doesn't matter that I used to be a teacher. Like, because then it's just like, you know, I just end up being another guy who's doing the same thing, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that I gave up things I really wanted to do to cook barbecue. And I don't want to give them up for something that I'm not really super passionate about. Like people will ask me all the time, you know, how come I'm not opening up a barbecue restaurant right now? Or how come that's not in the works? Uh, because right now, personally, I don't really want to open one. I think people kind of misunderstand 
where my passions are and what things are really, really important to me. For example, if I ask uh, people who ask me those kind of questions, like why am I not opening up a barbecue restaurant? Why am I not doing this with barbecue or that with barbecue and all that kind of stuff? I'll always just ask them like, how long have you uh, like how long have you known me or when was the first time you heard of me and they'll be like two or three years ago i'm like yeah exactly that's when i started cooking barbecue for real but i wanted to be a teacher and a coach almost my entire life and so for everyone to pressure me into doing something that i've only started to learn how to do it's really hard and i and if i were to rank you know teaching coaching and barbecue barbecue would be a far far number three from my one and two that are that are up there now does that mean that i don't intend on doing barbecue of course not i mean i'd be an idiot if i didn't pursue it in some way now i'm just trying to figure out ways to meld a lot of those things together or to balance a lot of those things so that i can do everything that i care about everything that i'm passionate about and not feel like I have to give up one thing for another. Will I have to do that in the future, uh, eventually? I, probably, yeah, but right now, you know, I feel like I have the ability to juggle all three and that's what I really wanna do. And so I think where I wanna take this uh, YouTube channel is I'm still gonna do um, barbecue videos. I'm still going to do barbecue talk videos uh, as long as people still have questions. Uh, I'm still going to share different things that I'm doing while cooking barbecue and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I did shoot a couple videos while I was in Austin as well. So the barbecue is still, still very much so a part of my life and probably will be forever. But, you know, I, I basically I just wanted to say that, you know, this past year um, during that time when I was, uh, you know, kind of took my break from, from, uh, barbecue and from making YouTube videos, I actually went back to teaching. Uh, and this year I'm back at coaching football again. I'm just doing things that I genuinely enjoy. And I think that you guys will know whether or not I'm doing the thing that is right for me, because if I am, I'm going to keep making videos. If I stop, you'll know that something went wrong and I picked something wrong that I don't really want to share. While I was in California and I was, you know, just on my birthday, I just wanted to do everything that I felt good about or I felt like I wanted to focus on this year and I just wanted to do things right. I wanted to take some time to relax uh, this past year, even though I'm probably going to be doing a lot this year. I think there's moments where you can pause and moments where you can reflect and take those quiet moments and fully enjoy them and not let the mess of other things spill into those quiet moments that you need. Um, I, uh, I didn't do this a lot this past year. I did a bunch when I was in Texas as I want to get back to um, kind of journaling again and just allowing like my mind to go elsewhere during that short period of time. I still want to focus on making more YouTube content, be better at it. Um, I have other ideas to incorporate. I have no intent on on continuing anything if it's mundane and if it's boring. Uh, I don't do or make YouTube videos. I don't go back to teaching. I don't go back to coaching because it makes X amount of money. I probably picked those three things are the things that uh, if you don't do them right, you don't make any money. For me, it's the pursuit of doing something that I really care about, that I want to put my intention, uh, my my attention and my focus into because I feel like that's where I can make an impact right now. There will be more opportunities for me to do barbecue. There will be more pop-ups that come up. Hint, hint. Right now, I'm, I'm focused on me. And um, I want this YouTube channel to be a place where I can share my journey. Uh, there are certain things that I want to talk about because I realized there are some conversations that I've had with individuals, not just barbecue people, but it, obviously it's a lot of barbecue people who will message me and just kind of like talk about, you know, them trying to find their own way. And I want this channel to be a place where those conversations that I have with other people that, I don't know, they're the, they've told me that, you know, it's helped them to figure out exactly what they want to do and how they think about things and how they move forward. And um, I want to be able to share that with 
whoever wants to watch these videos. So it's not just, you know, one on one private conversations. Uh, not that I'm going to be sharing anyone's stories or anyone's names and stuff like that. I'm genuinely happy when I'm able to help other people figure out what they want to do. Um, it, it is one of those things that um, gives me more joy and more purpose than anything else, uh, which is why I love teaching, which is why I love coaching, um, which is why I love answering barbecue questions, because when I feel like I can get people past the hump where they feel like they can succeed in those things, it, it that's my favorite thing. Yeah, I don't exactly know what direction that is in terms of uh, everything that I'm doing, but um, I'm just going to put out 10 different ideas and hopefully in five five years from now you know two or three of them will really really stick and those are the things that i'll focus on right now i have no intent on just focusing on barbecue and just doing that that's not what i want to do because i'm not worried about barbecue being that my one source of income um, so to speak, uh, it's allowed me to have a little more freedom in the way that I think about barbecue. And it's given me a lot more freedom to think about like uh, different foods that I still consider barbecue that some people might not understand. But uh, that's where I want to be. That's what, what lane I want to fill, what gap I want to fill in barbecue is to kind of push it forward by, by doing things that are familiar, but, you know, maybe not so traditional. That's what I feel like my story is anyway that's the story that people are interested and in, know me for so i want my food to reflect that as well so as i go into you know year 29 of my life uh that's where i'm headed i, I feel really optimistic about different things that are coming up uh i feel really optimistic about uh juggling a lot of different things uh and uh I just want to be able to share this journey with you guys because uh, I think it's fun. And I think that if I can show other people that you can do more than one thing or you can juggle more than one thing or you can just follow your passions, your desires, as long as you're willing to work for it, then yeah, you can still have fun with it and you can still have, you can still enjoy a lot of different things. Be free of other people's expectations, I think, is the thing that I learned the most this past year. And that's the one thing that I genuinely want to carry into not just this next year, but the rest of my life. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. And it should be as easy as following what you want and not following what you don't want. As long as I make my uh, my parents and my sister and my close friends happy and I don't change too much, I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this will lead to more conversations uh, with other people. Hopefully this will lead to more opportunities to do new things. But yeah, guys, I'm just uh, I'm just in a much, much better place than I was last year this time around. So um, but yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.